If you look at the back of most water ionizers, you'll see a power switch, like the one you see here on the back of my old Jupiter Melody. You would think that the function of this power switch would be fairly obvious, but you would be wrong. Many of my customers have no idea what the switch is for and when they should use it. So that's the question for this week. What is the power switch on the back of my ionizer and when should I use it? Hey guys, I'm Dean Snyder from Snyder Health. Welcome to this week's episode of Water Ionizer Wednesday. This week's video is going to be fairly short, but important for some people nonetheless. So let's get into it. Over the years, I've had customers explain to me that when they get water from their ionizer, they flip on the power switch on the back of their machine, and then they turn on the water supply, and then when they're done, they flip the power button back off again. But that is not the proper use of a water ionizer or the proper use of this power switch. When you first hook up your water ionizer, you'll be required to turn on this power switch on the back of your machine, if it has one, because not all of them do. When you flip that switch on, depending on your model, your ionizer is going to go through a self-check, meaning you might see some lights on the front of your machine turn on, maybe the LCD panel will light up, there may be some dinging noises, but then you'll notice that the machine will go dark, meaning all those lights will go off. You may still see the filter life indicators displayed on the front of your unit, but everything else will go off. The reason for that is because most water ionizers have a built-in flow sensor to tell it if there's any water running through the machine. If there's not, then the ionizer will go into what I like to call sleep mode. At this point, the ionizer will not light up again until it senses that water is entering the machine, at which point everything will turn on. But just to clarify, you should not expect to see lights on the front of your ionizer while there is no water going into the machine. Some of my customers will actually turn that power switch on and off every time they get water from their ionizer. There's absolutely no need to do that. Once your ionizer is set up wherever it's going to live, and once you plug it into a power source and your water hoses are all hooked up, leave that switch on. The only time you would shut that switch off is either when you have to move the machine, in which case shut off the power button before you unplug the ionizer, or if you are going on vacation and you're going to be away from your ionizer for several weeks, in which case I have a whole video explaining what steps you should take when you go on vacation. I'll post a link to that video right up here if you want to take a look at that. Listen, I know it seems a little silly to explain what a power button does on an electronic device, but in this case, it works a little different. So remember, turn the switch on after you hook up your ionizer and leave it on. Don't shut it unless you're moving it or going on vacation. If you keep turning it on and off every time you get water, over time, it's going to break and nobody wants that. Don't forget to check the description area for important links and let me know in the comments section if you're one of those people that have been turning the power switch on and off. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on this round button right here, and you can watch some of the other videos in the Water Ionizer Wednesday series by clicking on either one of those right over there. Until next week, enjoy your water ionizer, and don't break it.